Hi, I'm Andy with Diesel Specialties in Sioux City, Iowa. Today we're going to talk about one of the timing scenarios that you'll find on a 5.9 or an 8.3 liter Cummins. First of all, let's take a look at the engine timing pin. Timing pins are always plastic, so you got to take a lot of care of not smearing this timing pin off. That means you don't do any of your final torques with this engaged, and you don't loosen the front nut with this pin engaged, so be very careful with this timing pin. These pins are always located right below the pump flange and the front of the timing cover. So it's going to be about in this area right here. Uh, all you're going to see of it is the top part of it. So when you see that knob, you have found it. If it doesn't slide freely, what you're going to want to do is snap this retaining clip out and pull this pin out and clean the dirt off of it so you have a nice, easy sliding timing pin. Once you have your engine on TDC and you have this engaged in the cam gear, then what you're going to do is you're going to take the lock timing cap off of the injection pump and you're going to see that the timing pin right now is in the run position meaning the the timing locator is actually going to be facing towards you. You're going to remove that and we're going to flip it over and before you try to just jam it in there take a light and look in there and you should be able to actually see the pointer that you're engaging in. And that pointer looks like this. So when you when you're engaging this it's actually engaging right in this slot. So it's a good visual aid there. So that's kind of what you're looking for when you're looking in that hole. You're looking for that piece right there. Once you have that, you're going to engage that in there. You should be able to feel it engage. And now you're in time. Again, make sure you already have your front gear knocked loose before you engage this pin. Once you have this pin engaged and your engine pin is engaged, then we're going to go ahead and pop the front gear off and we're ready to remove the pump. When you go back together, it's just a reverse sequence. You're going to have the pump installed on the engine. You're going to have this pin is still engaged. This pin is engaged. You're going to do a pre-torque on the front gear, which you can find in any of the Cummins manuals, or you can certainly call us and we'll give that to you. Once you have your pre-torque done, we're going to pull the pins out. We're going to flip this over. You're going to slide your engine pin back and you're going to do that final torque on the front gear. And again, that's going to vary depending on which injection pump you have. So you have to know what pump you're working with. Uh, so we can deal with that later. Or again, you can call us and we'll give that to you. Once you have that final torque done, you can roll it around, engage your pins again if you want, just for a double check. And that's all there is to it. Once again, this is Andy with Diesel Specialties in Sioux City, Iowa, where we know your diesel.